from the public. We were getting reports uh, in one, one famous situation or, or sort of infamous at this juncture. Uh, a, a guy's mom contacted me through another, a mutual friend of ours that, that she worked for and said, hey, my son came home and, you know, said he was making all this money by, by collecting ballots and putting them in, in these drop boxes. I'm like, what? So I went over and met with the guy and we got this, this crazy story uh, about all this that was going on and, and uh, really allowed us then to really focus in on, on what we found in Arizona, what we were seeing in Michigan and what we were seeing in, but, in and Georgia. This, and really You know, give me a profile what a mule is. Who is this person? A teacher, plumber, criminal, former con. Go ahead. It's I'm a asking. it's a mixed bag. Um, we had um, we had some incidents where uh, there's a place in Atlanta called the Bluff. It's one of the the uh, heaviest, um, I guess, heroin trafficking places in the United States. It's very dangerous. So we went down and interviewed a couple of people down there and had some interesting um, uh, intersections with some folks. Uh, me and a couple of my guys. Um, the article goes on to say, true, the vote hasn't complied with subpoenas issued uh, because it, quote, wants to protect the confidentiality. Yes, this is the confidentiality of true, the votes whistleblower. Now, the whistleblower came forward at the beginning. This was the very initiation of the investigation. The whistleblower confirmed that he was paid $10 a ballot. And not only he, he was part of an operation that paid $10 a ballot. So, by the way, in my conversation with the Washboys, how do you know the mules are paid? We don't see them getting paid in the movie. Well, okay, I didn't show it in the movie because the whistleblower wants to stay anonymous, as in fact sort of disappeared. But the whistleblower testified that there was this mule operation going on in Atlanta, and this convinced through the vote to then buy the geo-tracking data to try to confirm and corroborate through technological evidence the existence and the magnitude of this operation. So the whistle. Video. They don't care about anything that we actually you know, have talked about in the movie, what they continue to focus on and care about is this, this belief that there's a whistleblower and his mother, and they want those names and they want to know who these people are so that they can dox them and ruin their lives and hurt these people. I mean, we presented this to the Georgia Bureau of Investigations in the, in the beginning of 2021. Then we took it to the Secretary of State and they recommended that we file complaints, which we did. We didn't hear anything from them other than uh, a, a contract inspector that they pulled in to talk with me. I have all these records as well, who was not interested at all in the data or the video. All they wanted was the name of our informant. And we had made it very clear, we're not going to give that name. However, if you do an investigation, you will see this person in the video.
a, a guy's mom contacted me through another a mutual friend of ours that, that she worked for and said, hey, my son came home and, you know, said he was making all this money by by collecting ballots and putting them in, in these drop boxes. I'm like, what? So I went over and met with the guy and we got this this crazy story uh, about all this that was going on. And